the air is filled with a cello-like hum made by wind-tossed running sand. You feel around your waist for your water bag and drain what remained to quench your thirst. The water eventually brings you back to the present. Slowly, you open your eyes. You'll find yourself sitting against a great date palm. You are lucky. Shade and water save your life in this desert. Beside you, the hero stands gazing into the endless desert. He stands as a young tree and a an occasional chance meeting brought you together. He admired your wits and you had to use his strength. Slowly your dizzy head pieces memories together. You've been searching for the great tree for 10 days. You start to wonder if you've been tricked or just lost your way. It all began when you met Faye the fairy. In the early morning, the lingering warmth of the bonfire gradually subsided. A burst of cold air woke you up from sleep. Help! Help! You and the hero ran towards the sound from the woods. Following the cries for help, you saw a fairy trapped in a ring of wood elves. One of the elves saw you. It turned around and watched you guardedly. Its eyes were full of curiosity, but not much kindness. You decided to help the fairy. You destroyed the Wood Elves and saved the Fairy. Slowly the look of terror faded from her face. She began to talk. The water brought her here to the jungle, but the Wood Elves captured her. You've long heard rumors of Wood Elves attacking humans. These creatures live in the tops of the largest trees and guard their habitat with surrounding water sources. As the encroaching mutant jungle spreads wildly over the continent, less water remained outside for humans. It forced men to go deep into the woods. As a result, the increasingly hostile wood elves began attacking the intruders. In her gratitude, the fairy invited you to visit her home, the Great Tree. She drew the root on the ground and explained the way. She had to leave to take her water back to the great tree. Faye nodded. She muttered your name again and departed. It's now the third day since you journeyed from the oasis. The two of you walk along a dune with hope growing ever fainter. You're just about to propose going back when things take a new turn. Some distance away, a towering tree looms straight up before you. With the hero's help, you scramble and climb to the top of the tree. You are surprised to find that the treetop is a wide, flat space. And in the midst, a town hall set upon a green terrace. Suddenly there's a clear voice calling your name. The fairy Faye flies over while waving at you from far right. That's our mechanic Laura. Looking in the direction Faye points out, you see a worker girl sitting silently in the doorway. You greet her. She lifts her eyes briefly and just glances at you. Awkwardly, you gesture at the fairy. 
Laura isn't good at talking, but few people have mastered the craft of construction on this continent like she has, giggles Faye. That crystal driller was built while you two were busy crossing the desert. At last, she asks you to become the master of the great tree. There will be many grave perils before you, but following your heart, you seem to make up your mind. You and the companion sit on the ground and chat in a cheerful mood. Suddenly, a company of wood elves climbs up from the far edge. They must have followed your trail here. The hero strides a step forward, but feels suddenly the hands of Faye clutching his sleeve. There are too many of them, Faye suggests, building a pump arch tower. Time is pressing. It would be worth spending diamonds to finish building the tower immediately. At that very moment, the wood elves loom up right in front of you. Faye and Laura quickly hide and get out of sight. The fairy slowly flies out and clasps her hands together. Encircled by gleaming green light, all damaged buildings start getting repaired. Your heart bids you go and find the Wood Elm's habitat. While you're observing Wood Elm's lair, you find that a company of spider girls is trapped within a wall of thorns. Prisoners of the Wood Elves are likely to be your friends. liberate the spider girls. They follow the hero and join the battle. You happily accept the Spider Girl's request to join your troop. So ends the raid. You try not to draw other things out and silently depart. 
Faye flies around like a swift stream on being told the news of the Spider Girls. They would be a strength indeed to us, says she with a gleam in her eyes. Sir, says a soft voice from behind. You turn around and see a Spider Girl standing respectfully. You look at your new companion in amazement, for you can hardly imagine such a tender girl slaying enemies on the battlefield. She bows and thanks you again. It seems that a cloud of pain passes over her face. We hope you could lead us to Mont Silk, at last she speaks. You wish her to tell more fully of their errand, but she turns silent. There are rumours that on Mont Silk lives a giant black widow, whispers the fairy. In hope for peace, every year a geisha costume girl would be delivered to this mountain. It's said that spider girls are their descendants. You are enchanted by the story and ask how to get to Mont Silk. Faye shakes her head and says, Nobody has ever been there. At least, nobody came back alive. She hesitates for a moment. Mont Silk is said to be the queerest part deep in the Ever-Darkness Forest. It will be full of danger throughout the journey to the Ever-Darkness Forest. It's not enough to rely solely on the power of the hero. It would be wise to train some spider girls. The troop is ready. You decide to start on your way. Following along the line of sand dunes, soon you and the hero see a grand stone pillar before you. The fairy seems to read your mind and says that it is the lighthouse. Their appearance may look quite different at different places in the continent, but the purpose is simple, to give directions for travellers. Once lit up, the region it covers would be explored. At the moment of turning on the lighthouse light, the forest looms up straight before you. You come at length to the place of the old wood forest. On the edge of it, you see many burned spots. A holy war happened here a long time ago, says the fairy. To stop the mutant jungle spreading, humans made a fire in a long strip. It lasted for seven days. After that, trees became even more hostile. The trees are thick and tangled like a natural barrier. Even the beams of light from the lighthouse vanish within a few meters. Your troop plow into the forest and crash through trees. Suddenly, an arrow comes whistling out of the shadows. Looking in the direction of the arrow, you see some deer-like figures lower down in the wood. Enmity is in their eyes. We must hasten to the Ever-Darkness Forest. Please let us pass through, you cry. Kavala Sidika, the forest doesn't welcome visitors, says one of them, bending her bow and fitting an arrow. If you move one step further, I will let the arrow send you back. They would not listen to you. A fight seems unavoidable. If a foe was shooting at you behind an op...
You've explained that you are heading to the Mont Silk and have no intention to invade their territory. We're ready to battle the Black Widow Spider, said Faye the Fairy. You win the first battle, and your wisdom in war seems to have been affirmed by everyone. However, the battle with deer archers makes you deeply feel the shortage of existing forces. You attempt to seek economic growth before going deep into the ever-darkness forest. As water in nature is mostly controlled by the mutant jungle, people find a way to produce water by collecting dew from uncontaminated plants. The water collector can stably produce water resources and is the basis for your base development. The ferry suggests hiring another mechanic while Laura is concentrating on building the water collector. That would be a wise long-term investment, says she. Precious water in reserve is essential. Hi, the fairy fay calls you with a smile upon her face. I still have some diamonds left, which certainly can help you develop our base much faster. But I can't give them to you for free. You have to finish some tasks to get these diamonds as a reward. Fay clears her throat and continues. <clears throat> I'm doing this for your good. These tasks will surely help you be a better leader. 